what is too big to give to him? I can understand when you divide and say, well, if I give this now, what about the rest of the months? You must be an unbeliever. <laughs> because when you believe, how can he let you go hungry? What do you mean by the Lord is my shepherd? I shall not want. He makes me, he makes me, not he shall make me. He makes me lie down in green pastures. I declare that the Lord is my shepherd. If he is my shepherd, I will not lack anything. Hear me, what I'm telling you now, I preach the same for years. And that's all that's happened to my life. You're seeing my life go up, 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 up. There are people who see me today, who knew me last year, five years ago. They can only tell you all they have known is like this. I've only been on the upward climb. No doubt. Why? Because I've seen it in the book. I know it's there. And it works. So I decided I'll stay in it. Pressing to give your best. You will do it today. You will start today. You will start today. You will give your best today. Start today. Sometimes, you know, people, they wonder, how can I give when I'm going through a lot of problems? If you are going through financial problems, listen to this. Is anybody, you, you're going through financial problems? You cannot afford not to give. I want to read something to you in the book of Proverbs, um, book of Psalms 126. And you listen to this. This will, this will strengthen your heart to do the right thing. Somebody listening? If you are going through hard times, if you are going through challenges in your finances, and here you are, and there's a need like this, what are you supposed to do? Listen to what the Bible says. In verse 6, no, verse 5. It says, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. They sow in tears. Why? Because they are sowing even though they are going through hard times. So the Bible says, he that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed. See, it's called precious seed because this is seed that you should have been eating. This is seed that you should have been maybe using to pay up something. This is seed that is so precious to you, so important to you, yet, instead of eating it, you're sowing it. This he that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless, hallelujah, come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with you. He's telling you, in harvest time, you will surely have, amen, an abundance of that which you planted. Let me read something to you. Second Chronicles, chapter twenty. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus! Glory to His name forever. 